I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Matt, and in this installment of the Strife of Nations introduction, we're going to talk about our armor system. Uh, what we're going to do is just sort of explain, you know, what makes our armor system a little bit different than other games, kind of go through it real quick. Um, basically, we break down the body into four sections, the head, the torso, the upper extremities, and the lower extremities. Uh, on each of those sections, you can have a piece of armor. There's three different types of armor, leather, chain, and plate. Uh, leather grants you five points per, chain ten, and plate twenty, but plate is inclusive to some very high-end uh, Kingdoms of Men characters. All the races can wear leather and chain. Uh, on top of the actual points that those grant, which basically just act as ablative hit points, um, there's also a sliding scale for the quality of the actual prop. There's uh, subpar, standard, and exemplary. Exemplary gives you plus five points, subpar gives you minus five. What that does is, if you actually have the resources to spring for like some exemplary chain where it's actually riveted and, and put together, um, you get a little bit of extra for your effort. If you're on a budget and you're having a hard time coming up with something, if you can only uh, come up with like a, a shiny silver t-shirt for, uh, for an actual piece of chain mail, it allows you to have actual armor and still have something of a prop and get something for it. So a little bit of flexibility there depending upon what you can bring to the game personally. But we like to see someone at least make an effort towards a prop, and that's why we allow for subpar to still mean something. Now, while you're out in the field and you're fighting, um, of course your armor is the first thing to go. Um, and it reduces down to zero. Now, what we do in the game is you, you can return back to your war camp, and you can resupply. And one of the aspects of resupplying is actually fixing your own armor. Um, what that means is that you can fix your armor up, subtracting 10% from it as a total. So if you have a leather jerkin like this and it, you, you have five points for your torso, um, you will go back to replate, uh, repair it, you would get four points for it. You get down to a minimum of one. Um, the only 10 way... 10% down, rounded down. The only way to repair armor fully up to its full um, capacity is to actually go to an engineer, um, which is someone who actually knows how to work the material the proper way and to fully fix it. And it'll cost you a little money, a little material, a little time. Um, and uh, that's basically it. Right. The idea is basically is to, as a combat character, you know your material, your equipment pretty well. After a fight or two, you can still keep it functional. But once you start to take some serious licks, you need an actual trained expert in fixing it to take it the rest of the way from there. Armor doesn't disappear. You just have to fix it. Exactly.